Prime Minister Lawrence Wong called Thai Prime Minister Strata Thabisin on May 28 to express his appreciation for the Kingdom's assistance in helping those on board Singapore Airlines Flight SQ321. In a Facebook post that same day, PM Wong said he wanted to thank the Thai government for the assistance provided to the flight when it was diverted to Bangkok. The Thai authorities and agencies helped to evacuate the passengers and crew and provided medical care for those injured, he said. We are very grateful for the support, he added. Mr. Sretha earlier posted on his social media accounts that, during the morning call, he reiterated Thailand's readiness to support those still recovering in the country. 28 passengers remain hospitalized in Bangkok. All injured crew members on board the Boeing 777-300ER had returned to Singapore by May 27. SQ321, which was heading to Singapore from London, experienced sudden extreme turbulence on May 21 over the Irrawaddy Basin in Myanmar. A British passenger, 73-year-old Geoffrey Kitchen, died of a suspected heart attack, while dozens were injured. The pilot diverted the plane, which was carrying 211 passengers and 18 crew members, to Bangkok's Sovanabumi Airport after declaring a medical emergency. The plane landed at the airport at 3.45 p.m., 4.45 p.m., Singapore time. It returned to Singapore on May 26 after being cleared for departure from Bangkok. Those on board were transferred to three hospitals, Samitivt Srinikarin Hospital, Samitivt Sukhumvit Hospital and Bangkok Hospital, for treatment. During the call, PM Wong said he also thanked Mr. Sretha for congratulating him on his appointment as Singapore's fourth Prime Minister on May 15. Mr. Sretha had said that he extended an invitation for PM Wong to officially visit Thailand to further strengthen our relations and cooperation. PM Wong said, Singapore and Thailand share warm and friendly relations. Underpinned by regular high-level visits, extensive economic links and frequent interactions at the people-to-people -people level. He added that he looked forward to working with his counterpart to boost bilateral and regional cooperation. Especially with the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties being established between both countries approaching in 2025.